what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video as you are joining me once again in the Kenworth I just got done doing some laundry here at the hat 6 truck stop on I-25 in Casper Wyoming uh, so make sure you go back and watch that video it should be the last video yeah but essentially it's a video on the hat six so i'm going to be doing a little uh, like truck stop review portion on the channel that way just to help out new drivers old drivers whatever with some better quality truck stops which this one here is definitely good quality but anyways sorry about that one of my buddies is calling me i'll call him back but anyways that's not what today's about uh we do have a couple things on the agenda i am doing a 34 hour restart uh so we're going to start one i guess like i say here in a few minutes we have to run over to uh place about half mile down the road can't remember what it's called but essentially we're going to go pick up 10 uh, reels that we're going to be taken from here in Casper Wyoming out to Pittsburgh California that's uh, out just west of Sacramento kind of in between Sacramento and Oakland out there so that's what we're going to be doing and then We'll come back and we'll park the trailer and then, you know, need to go do some shopping and whatnot. I'm out of food, so I need to go run over to Walmart, which this truck stop is good for that as well. It's a nice big truck stop. Like I said, go back and watch the video if you want to know more about the Hat 6 truck stop here in Wyoming. But uh, you can drop your trailer, and then I have a trailer lock, obviously. But drop your trailer, and then go run into town. So, but anyways, without further ado, let's get out of here. Let's head over to, I can't remember the damn name of it. I'd have to look on the email. I've loaded there before, but for some reason it slipped in my mind. But let's head over. It's literally like half a mile down the road so we'll run over there and load some reels real fast and then come back and drop the trailer and then i need to go do some shopping i need a new sd card for this dang gopro it keeps giving me malfunction so let's get on with our day see you guys here in a minute He doesn't have patience 
so first of all we're hauling 10 reels so you need 10 pieces of dunnage because they put the reels side by side and then um, I use coil racks when I haul reels and whatnot just to keep them from moving around on me so we'll get our 10 pieces of dunnage we'll get our coil racks out of the truck and then you need uh, two chains in the front two chains on the back one and a single chain for all the other ones so let's get set up Can you guys hear that? I need a new damn self-leveling valve for the tractor. Well, you probably can't hear it now with the forklift next to me, but if I push in on my self-leveling valve, it stops the air. Here, get close. Maybe you guys can hear that. Anyways, new self-leveling valve, valve coming to a vlog near you. Alright, so we have all of our 4x4s laid out across the trailer as you can see. Then we have all of our chains, binders. I'm going to put in the coil racks. And then we'll show you guys how to make it easier on your forklift driver if you have all this stuff set up already. Ah, this... SD card needs to be switched out Keeps giving me an error. I've tried recording this part like four times now But anyways, so this is what you want it to look like Make it easier on your forklift driver if you know How to haul these little reels so the one up on the step you need two chains Because it's going to be all by itself and then the front ones you need two chains the very back you need two chains and then these two that are in the middle, you just need one chain. And so I set it up like this. I already have all my four by fours laid out. I have my coil racks in, and then I get all my binders and chains lined up. Cause what he's gonna do, the forklift driver here, he's gonna bring two of those reels over and he'll stack them two deep, you know, and then he'll put five rows of them down the side of my trailer. When he does that, then you have to run your chains through using, there's these little poles right here in the snow. So you'll push your chains through the coils or through the rat reels and when, and then he'll give you time to do that. And then when you're done with that, he'll come pick them up with the chains already threaded and then set them up on your trailer. That way you don't have to try to figure out how to get the chains through the reels after the fact so but as you can see he's taking the ones over here for this guy next to me and so see how he's setting them along the side of the trailer over there so he'll set them down and then you just need to run your chains through them so but if you have them all set up like this ready to roll then as soon as he starts setting those reels next to my trailer i can start threading those chains and so I'll finish threading the chains about the time that he uh, gets done bringing my reels and so I'll be threading the last couple of chains as he starts loading me essentially so anything you can do to help make these guys life easier makes your life easier just makes the whole process go by faster so 
I'll see you guys here in a minute. I'm gonna stick the GoPro up on the truck so that you guys can see how this goes. ladies and gentlemen so we have made it back to the truck stop as you can see we are all loaded and we're here now at the truck stop my GoPro died and so I wasn't able to film the last little bit but just a few trip or er, tips that I've learned after hauling reels all this time um, what I do is after they set them down before I tighten my chains I take my tension bar smack well you can see where I broke some of the wood I'm in need of some new 4x4s but I will essentially smack the 4x4s and knock them out as far as they can go on both sides that way the reel will set down where it's supposed to be so that's one tip for you otherwise sometimes the 4x4s are too close and so as you drive they'll wiggle and then they'll settle and that's what creates your chains to get loose but uh, another thing that i've learned from hauling reels is i've learned to run my chain down to where the 4x4 is and then tighten it that way it's pulling straight down almost towards those 4x4s i used to run my chains out further but I noticed I was just kind of fighting myself because then the chain's essentially trying to pull the reel over the 4x4. And so now I run my chains to where they're as closely matched up with the 4x4s as I can. And then here on the single chains, because the single chains, they're a little bit more nerve wracking because you don't want your reel rocking back and forth. And so like this one, the chains, uh, more out to the to the back hole or <laughs> to the hole on the back side uh, no matter how i say that that's <laughs> that's not going to come out right but anyways and so how this one's kind of angled a little bit towards the back of the trailer there we go then the one on the other side i have it kind of angled to the front of the trailer that way one's kind of pulling forward one's essentially pulling backwards and then same with this one if you look if you can see the chain on the other side it's angled towards the front of the trailer where this one's well that one's kind of straight down but then here you go again you know pulling down towards the four by fours as you can see this one is in the middle of the two holes there 
and so I just get it as close to the 4x4 as I can so but <clears throat> and then these ones up here is a good example of the way that I used to this one though I kind of wanted to run the chain a little bit out further just where it's up on my step deck that way I can tighten it down yank it down but as you can see this one's close to the 4x4 this one I'm actually going to fix this one's a little bit too far off I want to run it through this hole so but this was the first one I did but we'll get that fixed so anyways guys I hope this helps any of you guys that are looking to haul reels um, as you've seen a couple videos ago or maybe it was the last video hell I don't know I have like three four videos recorded right now that I'm working on I hauled those big 12 foot reels last time and so you know this is essentially the same just on a smaller scale the 12 foot reel though you don't have to use dunnage with it came with a little stand that it was on already so but. yeah guys this is hauling reels and just making it easy on you guys so hopefully i can help you all out that's why i have this channel is just to try to help out drivers so with that being said i appreciate you all for watching and i'll see you all on the next video